Welcome to this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on families and households, examining the views of Parsons on the family. Tolcott Parsons is one of the most influential functionist sociologists and his volume of work spreads throughout the different modules on the course. He wrote extensively about family life, particularly focusing on the family as a social structure. His view of the nuclear family being universal is quite similar to that of another theorist in the functionist tradition that we have looked at, G.P. Murdoch. Parsons also suggested that the nuclear family was universal, but he differed slightly from Murdoch by focusing on the American nuclear family, which he saw as more isolated than the nuclear families that Murdoch had described. He argued that there existed a privatised nuclear family, one that was self-sufficient from extended kinship networks and utilised other social institutions to provide some of the functions of the family. Despite this, he suggested that the nuclear family had two basic and irreducible functions. These were primary socialisation and the stabilisation of adult personalities. Parsons looked to explain the domestic division of labour as part of his sex role theory, suggesting that males and females were biologically suited to performing specific roles in the family. And we will look at the ideas of Parsons in more detail in this video. Whereas Murdoch took a cross-cultural approach to his research, Parsons' concepts were based upon his theoretical ideas of the American family in the 1950s, an era often referred to as the Golden Age of Capitalism, where families looked to other institutions to replace some of the functions of the family, becoming consumers as technological advances and the development of greater infrastructure in the aftermath of World War II offered hope of a brighter future for American families. Parsons suggested, however, that there were two functions that could not be performed by any institution other than the family and these were primary socialisation and the stabilisation of adult personalities. Parsons' ideas of primary socialisation were not too different to Murdoch's function of education. It involved the early socialisation of children into the appropriate norms and values of society. Children would be taught how to act in specific social situations, such as at the dining table or in the presence of adults. They would also be taught the core values of society, what function is referred to as the value consensus, essentially pro-social behaviours that would enable them to fit into society and not become deviant. Parents would reinforce these behaviours and sanction behaviours that were undesirable, thus allowing their children to grow up well adjusted to society and conform to its expectations of them. A second function Parsons described was the stabilisation of adult personalities, now this is often referred to as the warm bath theory, an idea that for the males coming home to the family was the equivalent of getting into a warm bath, capable of soothing and washing away the worries of work. However, there was more to the stabilisation of personalities. Family life provided a form of emotional security for its adult members, allowing worries to be addressed within the comfort at home, allowing people to function normally in the public sphere. Adults could also indulge their childish tendencies through playing with their children, being involved in games and playing with toys gave them a sense of fulfilment through play and helped to stabilise their personalities in contrast to the stresses of adult life. A further contribution of Parsons to our understanding of family life was the evolution of the family into the nuclear family in what is referred to as Parsons' functional fit theory. He suggested that in the pre-industrial era, the family was larger most likely to be extended, either horizontally through living with siblings and their families, or vertically with grandparents being cared for by their sons and daughters. Parsons suggested that as a result of industrialisation and urbanisation, the family unit became smaller. As there was a need for families to be both geographically mobile in order to move to towns and cities to look for employment, and socially mobile. This was necessary as the expansion of industry meant there was a need for layers of middle management to control workers, and these would be inevitably form the middle classes. And so the need for socially mobile, smaller nuclear families evolved in society. A final contribution of Parsons was sex role theory, which examined gender roles within the family amongst other areas of society. Parsons suggested that roles within the family were best divided based upon biological characteristics and the process of gender socialization. He suggested that males were better suited to the instrumental role because of their physicality, which involved providing economic support through employment and maintaining the discipline in the household. The expressive role, the emotional support and the nurturing of the family, 
was best performed by females, as they were biologically and socially predisposed to showing more nurturing characteristics, such as empathy. Of course, critics over time have criticised these ideas as being based upon crude stereotypes of males and females, while feminists have highlighted the patriarchal nature of Parsons' explanations. Gender roles in contemporary society have changed, with the growth of dual earner families and males being more involved in children's upbringing than in the past. A second criticism of Parsons is his explanation of the evolution of the nuclear family. Laslett found evidence by looking at parish records of the existence of the nuclear family in the pre-industrial era, while later research by Wilmar and Young demonstrated the existence of extended kinship networks in East London in the 1950s. Parsons has also been criticised for having an outdated view of society, but given he was writing over 60 years ago, this is to be expected. More contemporary research into family life shows the extent to which the family has lost some of its traditional functionality, and how this has been replaced by other institutions. And finally, Parsons has been criticised for ethnocentrism in his research, focusing solely on American ideals. While his work is theoretical rather than empirical in nature, meaning there was little research to back up his findings. That concludes this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on families and households, examining the work of Tolcott Parsons on the family. Thanks for watching.